take a deep breath and think about what you now have in your lungs. Sure, it's air, of course, oxygen, nitrogen and such, but there is also something else. In each cubic centimeter of air you inhaled, there were thousands of particles, all of them too small for the naked eye. These are what we study here in the aerosol lab at the Division of Design Sciences. On average, you inhale some 100 billion particles every day. We actually exhale many of them again. But the smaller particles tend to follow the airstream all the way down to the most vulnerable parts of the lungs and stay there. We do know from epidemiology that airborne particles cause several diseases, not only in the respiratory tract. But those kinds of studies cannot tell us if it was the size of the particles, the shape, the chemical composition, or some other particle property which caused the harm. We try to figure out what makes some particles dangerous and some not. This knowledge is very important when the government sets health limit values.